Um, first, I want to thank uh, uh, Kevin and Pam uh, in Ben. Um, Ben's a third year political science student at Carleton for having them in their home today to talk about how this decision to cancel the gas plants is impacting on hardworking families here in Barhaven and throughout eastern Ontario. Look, the Kathleen Wynne Liberals have already made decisions to increase taxes and increase fees. They've hit the family pocketbook hard and now they're adding insult to injury by putting 1.1 billion dollars on the backs of families through the Hydra bills in order to save two Liberal seats in the last election campaign. The problem is this has become a pattern of deliberate decisions by the Liberals to put the Liberal Party interests ahead of the interests of hard-working families like the Keller Dillon family here today. I'm saying that a uh, billion dollars disappeared. I'm saying that politicians should have accountability. I'm saying that there are families and individuals and uh, that need services, that need health care, that need uh, education, that need social services in this province, and I think that money's been wasted. You're now pay paying the global adjustment. You're now paying HST not once but twice on your hydro bill. Uh, that Whether that's $30 a month, $50 a month, or $100 every two months, which is $50 a month, it's coming directly out of Pam's wallet. Um, in, in order for her to pay that, based on liberal mismanagement with the gas plants, and, and plus we also still can't get a figure out of the government, by the way, on what these uh, cancelled plants cost. Um, Per, per rate payer, she's actually taking that money and paying it to the government for their boondoggles when at the same time she could be using that money to pay for her, her children's uh, sports, she could be paying it for her own personal health care. Um, I mean, what, what you're hearing from families like, like Pam and Kevin and Ben and they have another son Mitchell who's in school, um, he's got great potential in hockey, but <laughs> paying for uh, the, the skates and the equipment, paying for the registration, that's awful expensive. So, you know, hardworking families like this in a pretty typical middle class neighborhood here in Barhaven, they're struggling to make ends meet. And they see the government toss out $1.1 billion to save a couple liberal seats. I mean, come on.